Okay, let's begin. We'll stretch the arms out overhead, bring the feet in and just really reach out. Imagine being pulled from both ends. Take a deep breath there. And then as you exhale, roll over to your front. So we're starting up, push into the ground and just open wide the knees and just get straight into child's pose. So a nice wide need child's pose. So start off by resting the, your body weight on the heels and then try and keep contact. So you just walk the hands forwards, 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 forwards. Then rest the hairline or the forehead on the mat and st keep stretching forwards with the hands. And then you can let the arms drop if you want to, but keep, it's like a bit of a, a wrestling mat between your bottom and your hands. Each one's trying to push back, one's trying to reach forwards. So really try and get the weight over the heels. And then just focus again on your breath. Check that the neck is in line with the rest of the spine. So you've got your hairline, maybe place your head a little bit further forwards. Some people say just to have your palms down without resting the arms. So keep that sort of pressure, pushing over the heels and take some nice deep breaths. As you're breathing, just imagine the breath filling the space behind the lungs and into the lower back. Okay, push the weight into the hands and just propel forwards a little bit, all the way onto the front and just stay looking forwards with the hands either side of your chest, elbows squeezing in and just stretch upwards, just try and extend upwards through the top of your head and get your feet in together a little bit more so your toes don't lose contact with the floor. So from here, this is the cobra, just press gently through the palms and just imagine you are like a you know, snake rearing its head up and just pressing to the ground, elbows stay close to the body. And then we're gonna push back and flick backwards into the child's pose again, but keep the knees together. So I want to do six of these. So we just come forwards and cobra, squeeze, lift the chest, lift everything, press the hips into the ground and then use the hands and onto the knees, push back. Let's do it with the breath. So exhale, inhale as you come forwards. So this is our second one. Inhaling there, cobra. Exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling, squeeze, and exhale. So in your own time, really, because everyone has different length of breath. Inhale, and once you've done six, just stay in the child's pose. So just come through the knees, push back, really get your weight over the heels, stretch the shoulders out. Really nice for your lower back. Just rise out the hands and push back. And when you've done six, staying where you are. Nice deep breath, just relax. Okay, just come up onto the knees, hands and knees. So just, just make sure that your knees are underneath the hips. Hands are underneath the shoulders, and we'll just go straight into our cat cow. So you just let the belly rise and fall. Spine hits the ceiling as you do the cat. Exhaling as you do that, and inhale, cow. Exhale, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, keep the arms nice and strong so they don't bend, they stay nice. And spread out the fingers, really use the lower back just to flick outwards and inwards. Tailbone lifts, tailbone curls under. So you're really waking up your core. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, final two, make them really good. 
really push through, try and widen the collarbones out as you do that one. And then just nice neutral spine and just imagine drawing a circle with your bum and just push the weight over, really send the hips out to the left and then out to the right. And we'll just do six one way and just push your weight over the hand, you know, your head over the hands as well. And when you've done six, just change direction. So just feel that lovely stretch right up the side of your body. Nice. A few clicking knees. And then we just come to the hands again and knees and reach out right hand, left leg, and just so you can really feel the glutes working. And just gaze just beyond the mat, so your head's not pulling down, you're rising out of the joints, everything really strong, and six of these connecting elbow to knee. If you're feeling really flexible, really take it past, hit the elbow to the chest, and then out and lift higher than before. So exhale, squeeze in and the crunch. Inhale up, reach high. So it's a little bit of an elaboration on cat-cow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Just feel everything waking up. The whole of the front of the body is waking up. Nice. Okay, and when you've done six, just swap sides. So reach. Squeeze, make sure you really are engaging that glute. Reach and back. Inhale, squeeze everything and back. The standing arm, just keep it nice and strong. Stable. Lovely, keep going. And when you've done six, just come to a nice still point. Nice one. So just tuck your toes under and go straight into the half dog. So keep the knees bent, focus on creating a lovely flat back, send the hips high. Imagine the tailbone as a pencil pointing vertically upwards. So you have your feet hip distance apart and then just a definite bend in the knees, bodies stretching down to the thighs, fingers spread wide, line up your middle fingers and then just breathe, just let the head hang. So it's just behind your arms. You're looking up towards your navel and then just let your knees come down to the ground but hover an inch off the mat. And we're gonna do six of these. So keep a flat back throughout this one. So you exhale, half dog. Inhale, very gradually look to the end of the mat, hover. Really keep that engagement here in the core. So inhale, bring the knees down, hover gaze. Nice flat back throughout. So just do six, just hover. It's very challenging. You should feel the heat in the thighs. Inhale. So it's nice warm up for the shoulders as well. So you don't need to straighten the legs just yet. Just keep them nice and bent. Okay. And the final one, we just send the hips high and then hover in the half dog position, knees an inch off. We're gonna hold. Just take the focus to your hands, gaze beyond the mat, flat back, and just hold that position, just breathing deeply in and out. And you should be really feeling this in the thighs. Push back through the balls of the feet. Breathe, come to the knees at any point, but just hold the gaze there just in front of the mat. Keep the breath flowing, pushing back, hold it there. It's challenging, it's building strength in the thighs. Okay, and up high, downward facing dog, and just pedal as you bring one heel down at a time. So pedal, pedal, pedal. Left foot, then the right foot. And just enjoy the feeling in the hamstrings, stretching out. So just send both feet up together, both heels down together. Just do a few ups and downs, nice. Breathe, just let the head hang, just press your chest down towards the thighs. Just gently shake the head. Just check there's no tension in the neck. Let all the blood rush to the head. 
that's it. And then send the head in between the hands and just come all the way down to the knees, open wide the knees and just push back into child's pose, stretch it out, just drop everything. Just keep a nice straight spine, line of energy coming down through the crown of the head and out the tailbone. Breathe. So just try and get the head right down. Relax. 